I want to go to Times Square tonight to watch the ball drop. Well, I plan to avoid this entire section of the city tonight. Okay, well, I don't want you to stay. I want you to go home. Ouch. There's this guy in my history class. His name is Seth, and I, I, I've been hoping, I mean, you know, I have this, like, sick dream that, you know, we'll get to hang out at midnight. And then, of course, you know, I'll come right home. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not comfortable allowing you to stay in Times Square at night alone. Period. End of and discussion. It's... Got it. Sorry. Come on. You know, I'm 15. I know, Hazel. Wait, this is not a training bra. And this is not Girls Gone Wild. All right, so I'm here with Abigail. I really enjoyed the movie. Thank um, you. I know that you've had a chance to work with a lot of great actors in the past, from Steve Carell, Mel Gibbs, and Kate Hudson. The list goes on. But in this movie, you have so many great actors that's on screen at, at, at one time. Was, this, was the experience different, and did you get to actually meet all of the, uh, most of your cast members? I didn't. I would have loved to have gotten to meet everybody. Um, I, I, I met Leah Michelle on set. I was really excited to meet because I'm a huge Glee fan, and she was so sweet. And then yesterday, I actually got to meet Zac Efron while doing press, <laughs> which I kind of died. Um, <laughs> cried a little bit, not going to lie. Kind of was dying, but um, he was really nice. And uh, so, yeah, I was, I was, I was definitely um, excited about that. But um, I would have loved to have met and worked with everybody in the movie, though. Now, you worked with Gary Marshall before on, on a, some pictures. Was it... To work with a director again, is it, does the experience get more comfortable or are you more at ease as an actor? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's the best. He's, he's like having another grandpa. Um, you know, I, I, I loved working with him on this movie, too. And uh, he kind of came up to me before we started filming and said, you know, uh, you know uh, I need you to help me with the teenagers because I don't know what they do <laughs> these days and, you know, with the phones and everything. So, um, <laughs> you know, he would ask me, like, what do you ever say this in real life? And uh, it, it was fun, though. Well, speaking of the, the teenagers and, and your character, Haley, on, mm -hmm. on screen, it seems like you're you dealing with uh, similar age periods where you might be at that, at that stage where you might be looking for more independence. I'm not, you know, I'm not <laughs> sure. But were you able to relate to the character at all? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that with Haley, you know, any teenager can kind of relate to her story and kind of wanting to be independent. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, my parents let me do things, but I think, like, Haley, New Year's Eve in Times Square would not be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be my next question. Yeah, <laughs> what you, yeah. Were you able to do that? Never done that. Never done that. I watched it on TV, mm -hmm. but that's pretty much it. What do you think? You look hot. And for this one magical night, it's about getting another chance Woo! to do more, to give more, to love more. Because that's what New Year's is all about. That and a good party. New Year's Eve, especially in the movie, seems to be a, a real self-reflective where everybody's thinking about what they could do different and what they, you know, what they should look forward to the next year. If you had to think of us collectively as Americans, what do you think America could do better in 2012 than we've done this year? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, I think that, you know, that's one of the things that everybody loves about New Year's Eve is just, you know, it's very hopeful. It's one of the most hopeful holidays and just, you know, you know, starting over and new beginnings. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but I, I like New Year's Eve a lot. Okay. And uh, is there any other projects that you got coming up in the near future that you could tell us about? Yeah, I have a movie called The Class Project that I just finished, which which is um, a really different movie than I've ever done. It's very dark, and um, my band Cab actually has a song in it, so I'm excited for that. And, um, yeah, just working with my band and, and all that, so, yeah. All right, well, we'll be listening or watching you, uh, whatever you do, and thank, thank you for you. taking the time. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>